Hey guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to the channel. I am Alvin. This is Traveling the Bald, and today is another pre cruise day. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you. Love you, mean it. We are heading down to Miami to get on the Scarlet Lady with Virgin Voyages. As you can see, I am hiding from the sun because it is really, really hot. I have my bags here. We are packed up and we are getting ready to go. So let's get packed up. Let's get down to Miami. Let's hang out, chill out. Let's see what there is to do in Miami on today is what? A Wednesday? So, no, Tuesday. So let's get packed up. Let's see what there is to do down in Miami. And it is noon, so we got about three to three and a half hours depending on traffic to get down there. So let's get going, let's get on the road. Alright guys, so we had to leave the lobby. Um, this is where we were just at and this is where we need to be, right there. So it's a comfort suites there, it's also a comfort suites there. This is where I went in at, this is where we need to be. Inside here looks great. Let's see what this one looks like. Fancy, realistic, let's go check in. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the room, got checked in. That was pretty quick. Um, everybody at the front desk was pretty nice. I asked for a room on the highest floor overlooking the airport. Um, I got the highest floor part. I'm on floor number five, which is their highest. But um, I, I don't, I don't think they had anything to accommodate me a little bit better. That there is the actual part of the airport. That area over there. Um, you can see planes taking off and pass down there. It's like downtown Miami. Uh, but yeah, so we got uh, we got close. But anywho, there's some stuff I need to do later on, like do ducks and stuff like that. And I have a client that just uh, emailed me that wants to get booked on the group cruise. If you are not booked on a group cruise, consider going on a group cruise. Um, but for right now, I need to go get food because I don't think I've eaten today yet. So let's go get food. I'll come back. I'll show you around the room, all that good stuff. And then we'll go explore Miami because I do not want to sit in the room the entire day. So let's go get food. And yeah, I'll see you in a second. to grab some food um, the hotel receptionist recommended me come over to this place called Old Tom's Sports Bar and Grill so I'm over here I ordered a Caesar salad which is already here I also ordered the hangover burger um, which is kind of like a burger with a fried egg bacon all that good stuff let me know, do y'all like burgers with fried eggs? I was told I was gross before because of it, but um, I don't care. Um, so yeah, I'm here. It's a nice, really uh, nice place, nice atmosphere. Everybody is pretty cool in here. Um, the inside decor looks nothing like the outside, I will say that. And it's only a block away from the uh, hotel, so I just walked over. But this is a great little spot. I'm about to eat, and I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, 
Y'all, I am tired. I done caught the itis. I'm ready to take a nap. Um, yeah, I want to go take a nap. I wanted to go to South Beach also, or somewhere just to explore, um, get out of the room, and go, you know, hang out. But that may be a later thing and not a now thing. I do have some stuff I need to take care of on the computer. Um, so that might be the play for now. I did promise you I will show you in our, around the room. So let's get up. And let's do that. So starting off, we have the front door area, a mirror, and an Alvin there. Hey, how you doing? Um, and then we have this thing here, just like a cruise ship. This, um, you put your key in here to get electricity, but that thing doesn't work anymore. So, cause all the lights still work. So this is your bathroom, just a typical standard clean hotel room, bathroom with a shower, no handheld though. I kind of like handhelds just for those extra crevices. Um, two sets of towels, towels, towels. I always judge hotels by how many towels they give you. Is that a thing y'all look for? What other like small quirky things do y'all look for to kind of value the hotel at? I always look for towels and trash cans. And they have one here and they have one there. And then this is a king size room, a king bedroom. So, um, which can accommodate two people, but they also have a pull-out couch. And so, this room can accommodate an additional one or two people. So, three, four people max. They have four sets of towels, but typically, in this size room, they will still only give you two. But even when I checked in, she asked me if I needed more towels to let her know, and I'll get more towels. So that just shows me they are just great customer service. They care about what you want. Instead of just saying, nah, bro, we ain't got it. So pull out couch here, table, ice uh, bucket, and cups. You have a chair there. And then right behind you, you have a mirror, lamp, uh, some tea and coffee, some outlets, stuff like that. Always look at this. This is great. This is attention to detail. Most people won't use this, but if you need like great internet speeds, a ethernet cable is a great choice. So yeah, desk area and storage drawers there. Then over in the bed area, you have two nightstands with drawers. And then you have a nice picture window. Oh, that clock is actually the correct time. Most hotels I always notice don't have the right time on the uh, clock, especially airport hotels. They seem to always have like the wrong time and it's off by like hours. So the closet, extra bedding, hangers, iron, ironing board, and the safe. That's a pretty neat safe. I kind of want one of those at home. But then you come over here and we have a microwave uh oh microwave some storage and then our fridge which is actually pretty clean and in a decent sized TV so I'm going to I gotta pull out the laptop let me get some work done and then I promise we'll get out the room and go explore some more of Miami so let's go I am all situated. I changed my shoes because I plan on walking on the beach. Um, I just want to show you this as well. This is just some of the hotel information, breakfast times, laundry, all that good stuff. If you are looking to find a hotel by the port area, um, I am going to, I'm leaving basically everything in here. Oh, I do need my key. Um, and we are going to head probably down to the beach, um, or Bayside, which is like right near the port. Um, so let's go. We'll see. Before I left to go 
to wherever I'm gonna go um, I wanted to let you guys know that this hotel also offers extended parking so what that means is basically the hotel will allow you to park here and say if you had a flight or a cruise you can leave your car here for an additional cost and when you come back the shuttle will pick you up from the port or airport bring you back you can get in your car and take off the additional parking cost is $12 a day which is about the same as a third party parking lot so I'm not sure if I want to leave my car here or park it at, or at one of the third party parking lots there it will be quicker to get back to my car after the cruise here I will have to take a shuttle about 10-15 minutes away so I'm not sure what I want to do if I want to just leave it here in the morning and come back to it here or third party I'll probably see if the third party has parking available still that I can book online if so I'll probably do that if not I'll leave my car here but it's just an option a lot of hotels well I won't say a lot but there's a decent amount of hotels in the Miami area that offers this this comfort suites and the other one that I was at earlier both offer the extended parking so make sure if you're looking to do that you either um, when you book the room let them know but most likely they'll take care of all that stuff when you guys check in so I just wanted to let you guys know now it's time to get on the road made it to South Beach I'm just doing a little walking around stuff like that um, why did not eat down here all right so all these hotels this is like the strip on Ocean Drive of all the restaurants and stuff but anybody that's been to Miami knows that if you come eat out here you're gonna pay 20 to 25 dollars for like four chicken fingers and fries so that's why I ate by the hotel, come down here with a full stomach, and then we can just explore while we're down here and not get robbed, highway robbery, for some mediocre food. So that's why I ate back there, and my burger was quite good, so I'm actually quite pleased. Um, so yeah, let's just hang out. I'm actually going to walk on the beach instead of the strip. I've done that plenty of times. So I just want to get on the beach because I haven't been on the beach in a while. So. Let's get over here to some sand. ice cream before heading back to the hotel y'all know I love ice cream and I specifically love chocolate because vanilla has no flavor at all um, so I am headed to the hotel now to get showered because I smell like hot garbage and tuna and um, we're gonna get showered and then I might come back out for the nightclub maybe maybe not if not I am definitely going to sleep but I will see you guys soon Hey guys, so I'm gonna close out everything here. Um, I made it back to the room, I showered. Uh, if you know anything about walking on the beach, it is nice and very relaxing, but it can also feel like you're walking through a jungle. My ankles and my feet have gotten a workout. 
Um, so came back to the room, showered, went across the street to grab something to drink and something to snack on. I'm getting to work, finishing up a few things here. I might go out tonight. Um, right now it's around like 11.30. I might get up in like an hour or so and check out some nightlife if I do. Um, I probably won't take you with me. Actually, most likely I won't take you with me. But if anything, I will see you guys in the morning for Embarkation Day. I'm really, really excited because this is a new cruise ship, new cruise line. I'm really, really excited. I feel like Virgin might take my heart away from Carnival. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I still have some homework to do to figure out if I'm going to park here for the $12 a day or if I'm going to park at a third party. Um, so I'm going to look that up and see. Or my most expensive option is to see it or is just to park at the port. And I want to say that's like $22 a day. So I'll figure all that stuff out tonight. You'll figure that out tomorrow for embarkation day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, do what you love, love what you do. I love all you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.